Hello, this is JJC Cubes 42 and I am here today to show you my dispenser. <clears throat> now how this works is uh, I'll press one of these buttons, like say for food, and here comes a minecart with food in it. Now it's fine and dandy. What I'll do now is push it back into the turn. You gotta push kinda hard or sometimes it won't make it through. And it goes up and god you stupid cheat. Well, anyways, yeah, after you put it through their turn, you reset the machine. <clears throat> Whatever you want next, say building materials. Times you gotta hit the button more than once. And there you go, there's your cart with building materials. Now push it back. Wait for it to go through. Yep, it's just went back up. <clears throat> you wait a couple seconds. For everything to get back in the power. Reset. Get out of stupid cheat. Get out of my machine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and the same would be for tools. I don't feel like wasting time. So now I'll show you how it works a little bit. Okay, so each car is going around in a continuous circle and has a redstone connected to it. When I press that button for it, one of two things will happen. <clears throat> First of all, the track will switch and combine these two, so it will send it out through here. And the second thing that happens is if we follow this trail over here, it will go to a NOR latch, which is this little square thing right here. If you don't know how NOR latches work, you're out of luck because I don't feel like explaining it. Um, this will toggle the NOR latch into making the output right here switch these tracks. And so after I press the button, the tracks will also switch here so that when I push it back through the return, it'll return to here. And then the other out input of the NOR latch is the reset button. And the reset button connects to each NOR latch for each item and will reset the tracks to go back this way, flipping the latch to the other side. Same goes for this one. Here's the track that connects it to go up here. And um, yeah, I haven't closed this off yet because I'm too lazy, honestly and this is a mess of trying to get this to work with redstone and stuff especially the reset button here's what here's the reset button right here this little trail right in here here yep and then underneath here is the return tracks or the return boosters the car comes down through here through these two boosters otherwise we won't have enough kinetic energy to get back to a station um, up there and there's actually another booster up there to get the last one to its destination because that, that was just a technicality but I'll go back and show you the rest see here's the intersection for this one it will go around and down and this one you know same thing this is just a whole mess of redstone like i said before oh i don't want to stop it okay yep so this is one straight line that goes back to where the cart return is here's a just a booster and so yeah that's basically the whole thing this thing was a really big challenge for me to make there's probably an easier way to do it, but you know, I'm, you know, proud of my method because I came up with it on my own. And if any of you guys have suggestions on how to make this better, I would kindly accept. Let me just press the tools one to prove that it works. And there's your cart with tools. Pig, get oh pig. See, animals screw up this machine a lot because 
the whole inside is grass and they stop the cards from spinning round and round and they get in the way and that's the only major flaw of this machine other than if you forget to reset which you don't have to reset for the tools because it is the last one and therefore it will automatically go there if you press the tools one because that's where it ends and there's nowhere else where it could go after that where you would have to make it switch between going this way or going up it just there's only one option it goes up so uh that is my dispenser i hope you all liked it <clears throat> like i said any suggestions would be appreciated and uh thank you for watching